Israeli media have reported that a highly advanced new missile was deployed for the mission days after Israel conducted airstrikes on the Masyaf missile plant in Hama province, Syria. As per media reports coming from Israel, the supersonic missile is so advanced that it can evade Russian-made long-range S-300 surface-to-air missile systems. The airstrikes were part of a series of Israeli attacks against Iran's military positions in Syria. Israeli satellite imaging company ImageSat has also published images depicting significant damage to the targeted missile plant. The Syrian army also stated on April 13th that Israel had struck the missile plant. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes Israel's newest Rampage supersonic missile that destroyed Iranian missile plant and claimed to have the capability to evade S-300. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Russian military delivered the S-300 system to Syria in response to an incident in which the Syrian air defenses accidentally shot down a Russian Ilyushin IL-20 military aircraft while trying to repel an Israeli strike. After the incident, Russia accused the Israeli defense forces of deliberately using the Russian aircraft as a shield during their attack on targets in Syria. Israel rejected the accusations, claiming that it had warned Russia about the air raid well in advance as per the agreed protocol. The deployment of S-300 set alarm bells ringing in Israel. A senior Israeli official was quoted, The S-300 is a complex challenge for the state of Israel. We are dealing with the decision in different ways, not necessarily by preventing shipment. Few reports indicated that Israeli airstrikes reduced after the deployment of S-300. Last year, it was reported that Israel had been developing an advanced weapon to counter the S-300. Later, it was disclosed that the missile is Rampage, which is named after a popular video game. Rampage is air-to-surface missile developed by Israeli Military Industries IMI, systems, in coordination with Israel Aerospace Industries IAI. The new weapon was first revealed in a press release on June 11, 2018. The all-weather weapon can be deployed aboard IAF, F-15s, F-16s and F-35s. Eli Ryder, head of IMI Systems Firepower Division, told Yannette, Sending four fighter jets carrying four Rampage missiles each allows us to strike under conditions we've never had before. He added, the weapon offers a quantum leap in performance and extraordinary cost-effectiveness ratio, two factors which are important to many air forces around the world. Rampage is derived from IMI Systems' ground-launched Extended Range Artillery Guided Artillery Rocket, or EXTRA. The missile uses a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system INS, guidance package to hit its intended target. The guidance package is resistant to electronic jamming. It has a range of 90 miles or 145 kilometers and has a supersonic speed of Mach 1 and an accuracy of 10 meters CEP. S-300 is a long-range air defense system. The surveillance radar of S-300 tracks objects over a range of 300 kilometers. The system's engagement radar can guide up to 12 missiles simultaneously and is highly resistant to jamming through electronic warfare. It must be noted that S-300 has additional target acquisition radars, 67N6 Gamma D and 9N6 Protivnik G radars in L-band, Nebo SVU in the very high frequency band and Nebo M and Zebu M in multiband to aid the main radar. But it's highly unlikely that Russia has provided all of these components to the Syrian regime. S-300 has immense firepower at its disposal. 
A full battalion includes six launcher vehicles, with each vehicle carrying four missile containers for a total of 24 missiles, as well as command and control and long-range radar detection vehicles. The system can engage up to six targets at once. S-300 deploy multiple missiles to cover their engagement envelope. Here are the missiles. One, short range 9M 96E 40 kilometers with an active radar homing head having the capability to intercept targets having a speed of up to Mach 2.6 2 medium range 9M 96E2 120 kilometers with an active radar homing head having the capability to intercept targets having a speed of up to Mach 3 3 long range 48N6 250 kilometer with an active radar homing head having the capability to intercept targets having a speed of up to Mach 14 but as per reports this missile has not been provided to Syria it's also likely that very limited quantity of the missiles have been provided Israel Air Force has been considerably successful against Syrian short-range air defense systems which include Russian made Pantsir S1 air defense system May 10th of last year, Israeli fighter jets had taken out Pantsir S-1 for the first time. On the 21st of January, the Israeli military stated that it has hit Iranian and Syrian targets around Damascus, including the Russian-made Pantsir S-1 air defense system. This was executed through the use of Harpy-2 kamikaze drone. This came as a major embarrassment for Russian military. At that time, Russian military has gagged the military expert and editor-in-chief of Arsenal of the Fatherland magazine, Viktor Murakovsky, who had made adverse comments on the Pantsir S-1. Viktor Murakovsky had stated in a Facebook post that in Syria it came to light that these Pantsir S-1 anti-aircraft missile systems practically do not track low speed and small size targets, which include drones but at the same time regularly spotted big birds flying around the base, which is confusing for operators. Lenta.ru, which cited another Russian military expert, Alexei Klopatov, reported that within 24 hours, Murakovsky was forced to remove the post. Alexei Klopatov said, It appears that our weapons, to journalists and experts, can only be praises, clearly hinting about pressure from the Russian military. S-300, if deployed in full configuration, has a longer engagement range than Rampage, so it can be said that S-300 will be able to hit the fighter jets carrying Rampage before they can get in launch position, especially if they're fourth generation fighters. But since the S-300 deployed in Syria has bare bones configuration, it's likely that it could be neutralized by a saturation attack from Rampage. The odds will be even more favorable for Israel if it decides to use stealthy F-35s. It's likely that Rampage has also been designed keeping in mind the vulnerabilities of S-300 and will be able to exploit it just as Harpy-2 did against Pantsir S-1. Israel Air Force is very proficient in using specific tactics to neutralize air defenses and their acumen will add to Rampage's capability. It is to be noted that Syrian operators are new to S-300 and this could tilt the balance further in Israel's favor. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.